Hello everybody, I'm Jay Leonard Jane. Today we are checking out the Octa High version 2 by Beatronics. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, another exciting day here on the page. Why? It's because it's Fuzz Day, and I love Fuzz Day. We got ourselves a killer one on the board. It is the Octahive version 2 by Beatronics, and I'm excited about this because I remember version 1 of the Octahive. I played it years and years ago uh, when I was doing a series uh, for Revelation Cable, and I remember particularly the Octahive just sticking out and being really awesome. And I remember, like, years and years later, finally meeting the Beatronics cats, telling them, man, you knocked it out of the park with that Octahive, and they gave me the wink. And uh, as life goes, not too long after, Octahive version two on the board. It's smaller, it's a little bit more practical and portable, has a really unique switching system, which I find quite useful. And uh, all the sounds of the original Octahive, just a little bit easier to use live, and uh, you know, a little bit more pedal board friendly. Really cool look, I actually think it looks better, but that's just my opinion. Uh, let's go here what it sounds like. I got a Jazzmaster custom shop going into a bad cat, hot cat. This is what the two sound like. That sounds really, really, really nice. Uh, let's go here with the Octa Hive sounds like. Uh, there's two sides. Uh, fuzz side is this light. Octave side is this light. Pre is uh, how much we're gonna be pushing that circuit. Honey is how much distortion we're gonna be getting out of it. And then volume is volume. All right, let's go hear what it sounds like when we turn on that fuzz. Everything's at noonish. Has that nice Velcro-y sound when everything's at noon. And then here's the octave. All we have to do to get to the octave, double tap and now we're in octave. <laughs> Now the fun thing with these octave fuzzes obviously is going to the neck pickup and rolling it off to really highlight that octave and I could just go in the rhythm circuit and get that sound. <laughs> that is some cool stuff. Uh, now, let's go into a much heavier, uh, less gated kind of sound. This is my go-to uh, live setup. We're gonna go back into fuzz mode, and I'm just gonna get that honey and crank it right up. And we're gonna back off of the pre a little bit, and let's see what that sounds like. <laughs>
that's awesome. And that's how quiet it is when I roll off my knob. Uh, really, really cool. Here's a cool thing you can do when you're switching between the two modes. Let's go back, double tap to go back into fuzz mode. If I hold on to this, we get a momentary foot switch where I can go into the octave mode. Check this out. <laughs> And you could do the opposite. We can go in fuzz mode and then I could hold it and go back into the normal mode. Another position I really, really like, and that's when we max out that pre, and we back off of the honey just a touch, and uh, we get a low octave kind of sound. Check this out. <laughs> Let's roll things down here. Um, as you can see, when I actually go down on the pre, it actually uh, brings out the octave sound a little bit more. So let's go down, get like a cleaner sounding octave sound. Let's see what we got here. I think that's really cool. It's almost like ring modulator. Now we have a cleaner sound. Let's put a, like a fuzz pedal after it. I have a Royal Jelly and let's hear what that sounds like on its own. the Octahive.
And that is the Octahive version two by Beatronics.